Slam Dunk, a passionate Japanese basketball anime, has made many teenagers change their lives and start playing basketball. Would all this may be just Sokuroge's fantasy? It only took for months from Sokuroge to play basketball to the national competition. Thinking about it, it seems a bit extraordinary. Could in fact, in the animation of the first episode of Slam Dunk, the heroine asked Sokuroge to dunk, and Sokuroge, because he jumped high and hit his head. At this time, Sokuroge got up and talked and left with the heroine. But in fact, after this dunk, Sokuroge suffered a serious head injury, resulting in a long-term coma. As time went by, because Mitsumasa and Sokuroge did not join the Shuhoku basketball team, the overall strength was insufficient, and they lost in the qualifiers. Later, each member gradually distanced themselves from the sport and pursued a different path in life. But the most disturbing part of this ending occurs when Sokuroge finally wakes up. Instead of recovering and returning to the court, he found himself trapped in an endless nightmare. He couldn't tell if he was awake or dreaming, and every time he tried to play basketball again, he failed miserably and was injured again. The faces of his teammates became blurred and distorted, as if they were ghosts that haunted his mind. The final page of this version allegedly shows a haunting image of Sokuragi standing alone in the middle of an empty basketball court. The shadow of the iron ring loomed behind him, like an open black void, slowly swallowing him. Rumor has it that the chilling ending was never released publicly and was quickly dropped from circulation due to its disturbing content. However, those who managed to see a claim that they began to experience nightmares and strange happenings soon after. Some people even reported hearing the sound of a basketball bouncing in the middle of the night, as if Sokoroge's restless soul was forever bound to the court, trapped in an endless cycle of despair.